guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome I'm so happy you found us today we are doing something that I had trouble with when I first started journaling and that is how to decorate playing cards so today I thought I would show you a few different ways you can use playing cards and give you some ideas of how you can decorate them so come with me and let's get started The first one we're going to do is going to be very simple. We're just going to take our little lady and our Ritz Theater ticket. And this is from a piece of uh, scrapbook paper I had. And of course, this is Tim Holtz. And all I'm going to do is attach the Ritz Theater ticket like that. It will be on the back a little bit, but that's fine. I'm going to attach it like that right there. So let's do that. I'm going to attach it, you know, kind of towards the top. You can attach it wherever you want. It doesn't matter. I'm going to attach that right there. And then I'm going to put my lady kind of over to the side. I want you to be able to read Ritz Theater on the ticket. So I'm going to put her over to the side. Got to be sure and get the glue on her legs because they will pop off and then you lose a foot or something and that's annoying okay because she looked like she was all dressed up to be coming from the theater I thought okay now we're gonna let that dry for just a second and we're gonna go put stitches around it and you'll see how after we put the stitching around it it just kind of finishes it off and brings it together. So as you can see, I'm leaving most of the cards showing, but once we add this stitching around it, it'll add a lot of visual interest and give it some texture and it'll look pulled together, except for one other thing we're gonna do. Now it's done, except for one more part. Come with me. Okay, now you can see it better. You can see the stitching we added, the visual interest, and how just much better it looks. Very happy with that. Now we have one more thing to do to finish this off. And this is gonna be our tag. It was super simple. I wanted to keep the playing card so you could know what it was. I poke my hole, I'm gonna put my ribbon through. And you have the juxtaposition of the vintage items, vintage looking items on it and the newerness, the newerness, the modernness of the card. They play well against each other. And then you just add on your ribbon at the top and you have a super unique, super cute tag that would look good in any journal or for any swap. Okay. For our next playing card transformation, I'm going to turn it into a journaling card. And this time, I'm going to use fabric. So let's get started. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use this houndstooth fabric, and I'm going to cover about, I would say, 80 to 90% of the card, kind of in a, a sideways pattern. So what I'll do is I will cut a piece of fabric. You can also use my uh, small fabric uses. You know, you, uh, the video I did where I gave you a lot of ideas for using small fabric pieces left over, they're great for using on playing cards as well. In fact, the next one I show you is all leftover fabric scraps. So what I'm gonna do is basically I wanna cover up about 90%. So I'm gonna do it where you just see the eight at the corner and this little blank corner down here. Here. I want you to know it's a playing card, but I don't want it to be super obvious. So I'm going to glue that in place. And then, and because it's on a tilt, as you can see, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to come back with some lace. And I'm going to put the lace up and down and glue it straight up and down on the card. So it will look like that. And lastly, I would bring a picture or if I'm out of vintage pictures, I'll use a Tim Holtz figure and put her right there, okay? And then I would glue all of this down. 
once it dries, it's going to look like this. Now this is pretty much done, but you want it to have that extra bit of something. So what I'm gonna take are some pearls off a vintage pearl necklace, and I'm going to attach them to the journaling card with a little black ball pen. So all I'm gonna do is slip it on there, and then somewhere on here where the fabric is, probably kind of up to the top, and the, the picture on this one I glued sideways to go with the fabric just because I like doing that. So I'm gonna put the, okay, and then see it just kind of elevated it up, but you have the fabric, you have the lace, and you have a little bling to it. So this is another great way to transform a playing card. And this is a journal card. Of course, you could always poke a hole at the top and make it a tag as well. It's totally up to you. Okay. Our last one, you will just take a plain playing card and you will cover it in a mosaic pattern or a collage pattern with all of your little fabric bits, okay? Once you get this and it dries, there's several things you can do. You can take some sari silk. Now this one's brighter, right? So this would go more like in a summertime journal, a springtime journal, a boho journal, something like that. You could trim around it with some sari silk if you wanted to. Look how pretty that would look. And just go all the way around on the top side, of course, because this card is going to be a pocket or a tuck spot. So let's glue some of this down all the way around. Now push it all down so it stays. And I'm gonna go ahead and trim the end so I can glue, make sure it's nice and tight down. Now remember, it needs to be solely on the top, not on the back, because this is going to be a fun tuck spot or pocket, whatever you desire. Okay, so you have your edging down, and see that just elevated it more. But if you want to kind of bump it up one more time, you could take some glitter glue, basically, and just... Follow the path inside where the different fabric scraps touch. It makes a very nice pocket at the bottom. Turn it on its side and it could be a, hold on. Turn it on its side. You've got a nice tuck spot pocket like that. Could also put it at the top as a nice tuck spot. So I hope you like this transformation of playing cards into tags, journal cards, and pockets or tuck spots. And any of these could be a pocket or a tuck spot as well. If you like the video, be sure and give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. We have a lot more ideas coming at you this year. And yeah, thanks for being here, guys. Take care. Bye.